Hi everyone, it's Renee from the Staten Island Children's Museum with another video for Carnival Steam Week. Today we will be making boats. This is a fun experiment to do outside or somewhere where it is okay if there's a little splashing. For this experiment, we will need our sea, you can use a big bowl or a small container filled with water, boat building materials, we can use straws, cardboard, sponges, styrofoam, sticks, plastic cups, pencils, anything you have around the house. The more materials you have, the more experimenting you can do. Three pieces of tin foil, and duct tape or rubber bands for any building you do, and our passengers. We will use paper clips, but you can use coins, bottle caps, or anything that you have at least 20 of that are about the same size and weight. What are some things we need to think about when we are building a boat? We need to think about what we will make the boat out of, the materials, and what shape it will be. First, let's think about materials. We want our boat to float, so we are going to experiment to find which materials sink and which float. I'm going to test a bottle cap and a coin, which are about the same size. Which do you think will float? Which do you think will sink? As you can see, the bottle cap floated, but the coin sunk. This is because of its density. Can you say that with me? Density. Density is how much weight something has compared to how big it is. The bottle cap and the coin are about the same size, but the coin is much heavier, so it has high density and sinks. The bottle cap is much lighter, so it has a low density and floats. Test all of the materials you think you will want to use for your boat to see which will float. Try to guess before you put it in the water if it will sink or float. Next, we are going to think about shape. You may wonder how a boat, which is very heavy, can float. That is because shape makes a big difference between if the boat sinks or floats. Let's take our three pieces of tin foil. These pieces should be the same size and weight, so they have the same density. One we will make with a flat bottom. One we will make into a cup. You can wrap it around your hand to start the shape. And one we will make into a bowl with a hole. You can use your thumb to make the hole and then crumble the tin foil around your thumb. Then we will put them in the water and load them up with our passengers until they sink. A tip for filling up the ball shape. Crumble it around each passenger so the passengers don't go overboard. Which shape do you think will hold the most? When they sink, we will take them out and count the passengers it held. Which one held the most? The flat boat held the most because of buoyancy. Can you say that with me? Buoyancy. Buoyancy is the force of the water pushing up on the boat. The flat boat had the most tin foil touching the water, so it was more buoyant because there was more force pushing on it upwards from the water. The ball held the least amount of passengers because it had the least tin foil touching the water, so there was the least amount of force upwards from the water or less buoyancy. Use the materials from your first experiment and what you learned about shape in your second experiment to create your own boat. Test it out to see if it floats. Remember, failure is a big part of experimenting, so don't worry if your boat sinks. Finding out what sinks is just as important as finding out what floats. You can just keep trying something else until you make it float. Once you get your boat to float, it's a good time to take a picture of your boat because we're going to make it sink. Get your passengers ready to before you begin loading, try to guess how many passengers it can hold. Then load them up until your boat sinks. How many passengers did your boat hold? What do you think you can do to make it hold even more passengers? Share the boats you made and how many passengers it held on our social media.